basic simple German sentence. A German sentence has three parts, a subject, a verb and an object. The subject is the person or thing doing the action. The verb is the action performed by the subject. The object is the person or object that is acted upon. First sentence is Ich lese ein Buch, meaning I am reading a book. The second sentence is Maria geht in den Park. Maria walks in the park. The third sentence is Wir sind im dem Park. We are in the park. Notice that the article here is different from the sentence before because we are already inside the park. In basic sentences, the verb is always on the second position. The subject can also change position when we add other information to the sentence, for example, a time or a place. Montags spiele ich Fußball. Ich spiele montags Fußball. Literally translated, this means Mondays I play football. I play football on Mondays. Now we will form a basic yes-no German question. Notice that this time the verb is in front of the sentence and the subject is in the second position, so verb and subject are interchanged. First sentence is Spielen Sie Fußball? Do they play football? Literally translated would mean play they football. Second sentence is Spielst du Fußball? Do you play football or play you football? Modal verbs modify an action in the sentence. They may mean a possibility, ability, an obligation or a probability. Most of the time we use modal verbs with the main verb of the sentence. The main verb of the sentence is in its infinitive form or main form. This means that we do not conjugate them. Lastly, the infinitive verb is always at the end of the sentence. We will see this later. For now, let us read these common modal verbs. Müssen means must. Muss, must, muss. Müssen, müsst, müssen, müssen. Können means can, kann, kannst, kann, können, könnt, können, können. Dürfen means be allowed to. Darf, darfst, darf, dürfen, dürft, dürfen, dürfen. Wollen means would or will. Will, willst, will, wollen, wollt, wollen, wollen. Sollen means should, soll, sollst, soll, sollen, sollt, sollen, sollen. Now we will use the modal verb in a basic German sentence. Er kann ein bisschen Englisch sprechen. Wir müssen gesundes Gemüse essen. Meine Frau will einen Orangensaft bestellen. Hier darf man nicht sitzen. Ich soll gehen. In the first sentence, er kann ein bisschen Englisch sprechen, you see that the modal verb kann, meaning can, is in the second position now, and the verb, in its infinitive form, is at the end. Er kann ein bisschen Englisch sprechen means he can speak a little bit of English. So it goes on with the next sentences. Wir müssen gesundes Gemüse essen means we must eat healthy vegetables. Meine Frau will einen Orangensaft bestellen. My wife wants to order an orange juice. Hier darf man nicht sitzen, meaning you are not allowed to sit here. And ich soll gehen, meaning I should go. 
Let us hear some of the words we just learned used in sentences. Angela kann tanzen. Angela can dance. Here you have a modal verb, can or kann, and notice that the verb, the main verb, tanzen, is in its infinitive form. Kann Angela tanzen? Can Angela dance? In this question, you see now that the verb, the modal verb, is in the front position and tanzen is at the end. The cat is not allowed to eat that. Die Katze darf das nicht essen. Notice, as before, we have the modal verb is not allowed to, darf, and the infinitive is at the end again. Wir müssen Deutsch lernen. We must learn German. Same principle as before. You have your modal verb and your infinitive at the end. Müssen wir Deutsch lernen? Must we learn German? Question again. So, inversion. The modal verb is at the beginning and the infinitive at the end. Die Mutter geht in den Park. The mother is walking to the park. Basic German sentence, a subject, a verb, and then the object. Die Mutter und das Kind gehen in den Park. The mother and the child are walking to the park. Same thing here. We have two subjects, die Mutter und das Kind, then a verb and the object in den Park.